one it swoos with another review this one is for a foundation I've had this for a while I'm trying to give it a real good go to see if I really can use it Alme nearly naked makeup seamless uh, flawless and weightless um, SPF 15 in ivory this is in 120 ivory this is for normal combo skin okay I got this a while ago um, off a website, glossy I think it was .com.au, it was cheap. Um, I'd seen some reviews on it and people were saying yeah it's really good. I would say this isn't a foundation, this is a tinted moisturiser with a very light tint. I mean it says nearly naked. Um, I've got this on today, even when I'm putting it on I have to keep putting it on to cover up any redness. It's, it's a lot of effort for a foundation and a foundation for me well, I don't want to spend too much time putting on a foundation. I would use this um, if you don't want to really wear much makeup or if you're, you know, just around the house or whatever. If you just want a tinted moisturiser. And it do has, does have an SPF 15 in it. Um, I think this is about, I think I got a special for about 8 bucks or something. It's more expensive than that though. I've seen it at Priceline for more than that. Um, but if you're looking for a foundation, don't buy this nearly makeup, nearly new nearly naked makeup one I would suggest buying a proper foundation like I said this is a really really light coverage more like a tinted moisturizer I'm gonna say that the Alme nearly naked makeup is a binner if you beg to differ I'd love to hear about it all right everyone toodles